Hi guys, I'm coming back at you with a haul. I have a drugstore, which was Target, um, and a Marshalls haul, and I just wanted to show you um, a few things that I picked up. So, I had previously bought the new Revlon Candid Photo Ready all natural finish foundation and I bought it in colors 410 toast and 500 almond um, so here's 410 and here's 500 and I have them swatched here so here is 410 toast 500 almond so to go with those, I bought the concealer. I got 50, which is medium deep, but I'm thinking I might need to go back and get deep because he up here is a swatch of medium deep and it's a bit too light for my liking. I don't like to go too bright underneath the eyes, but I have to play with it and see how it comes out on the actual face. We got that concealer. And sorry, I'm sounding a little nasally and stuffed up. I've caught in a cold. Also, I picked up the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. And I got this one in 405 Toffee. And that is this one right here which I think I want to go back and get the color caramel because I like a little bit more yellow tone underneath my eyes. And these two are actually more like neutral pinky. I don't know if it's coming out way off camera, but in person, both of the concealers are more neutral pink undertone. Also from Target, I purchased elf blotting powder because I do have oily skin well I have combination skin but my t-zone tends to get really oily so I wanted to give this new product a try and see how it works um, so there's that also to go with this I bought the elf's matting matte spray um, I watched Savage do her review on this and it didn't really seem to work out too well for her um, after one try, but I figured I would give it a go as well to see how it does. Um, and I'll let you know. So there's that. Also, I picked up the Wet n Wild Rose Setting Spray. I love pink, so I just had to, had to get it. So there's that. And then from Dollar Tree, I also went to Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, I picked up um, this LA Colors Loose Face and Body Shimmer. And it is a gold dust. It has a little uh, sticker over it, so I haven't pulled it up. But it looks pretty promising. They had a, a lot of colors to choose from at the Dollar Tree, but this was the only one that really I felt would work with my skin tone. So, got that. Also, you'll notice a trend with a lot of the things I'll be showing you in this video. Um, also from Dollar Tree, I picked up the LA Colors Lip Balm in Vanilla Bubblegum, and I also have Mint, but Mint is in, currently in my purse, which I'll be planning to do a What's in My Purse video decks. I recently got a new bag, so I would like to show you guys. I can maybe give you guys a review on my new bag. Um, so that's bubblegum, and it actually really does smell like bubblegum, and here's vanilla, and it smells just like vanilla. And the mint one is just blue, so got those items from Dollar Tree. And also this LA Colors face primer. Um, they had 
quite a few different colors and each color did something different. Like there was a blue one that hydrated, a pink one that kind of color corrected, a green one too, and then there was this white one and this one um, was more for pores and I have an issue with pores um, around my nose and cheek area so I wanted to give this a try, see how it worked. So that is also from LA Colors. And that is it from the dollar store. Oh, I also picked this EOS bulb up from Target. Um, it's like a crystallizing one. It's supposed to like tint your lips once it goes on. I don't really know if it does. Yeah, I haven't tried it yet, but um, picked that up as well from Target. And then from the Target dollar spot, I found these really cute um, scented lip treatments with shea butter along with scented lip balms and they had three scents and I got the corresponding lip treatments with the lip balm so this yellow packaging is lemon verbena so here's the lip treatment at first I thought they were like little miniature hand creams or something to match the lip balms but they're actually lip treatments and they're quite small um, like I'll show you compared to this face primer. They're they're pretty small, but enough product to, you know, do a treatment for your lips. But there's a lip treatment and then here's the lip balm. I don't know if it is colored or no, it's clear. It's white. Um also I got vanilla rose. Here's the lip treatment. If you hear any snorting, that is my Yorkie. <laughs> His nickname is Piglet. And then the last scent is Lavender Fields. So this is the purple one. And there's, there's that. And then from Target, I also picked up um, the new um, Real Techniques face and body sponge. I'm obsessed with pink and this is like a salmon pink and it's huge, it's huge and this is dry. So imagine, I'm pretty sure it'll get a lot bigger once wet, but um, I have a face one, which I actually need to replace, but um, I wanted the face and body one just to try it out. I've heard great things, great views on this. So I got that and then I also picked up the Real Techniques 201 brush, which is the powder brush. And it's a pretty like salmon-y color that kind of matches the sponge. So here's that, and it's nice and fluffy. On the packaging it said, um, can be used for powder or um, like face powder or bronzer. It's a nice fluffy brush. And then also I got the 400 which is the blush brush so it's a little bit more tapered than their old bluff blush brush which i don't have on me at at the moment but um it looked really nice so this one's a little bit more pink like a pretty rose pink whereas this brush is like a salmon so you can see the difference And that's it for Target. And then I went to Marshalls um, and found this e.l.f. Beauty Shield Antioxidant Enriched Skin Protection. It's a daily defense makeup mist. It's a pretty large bottle. I'm not sure how much comes in this bottle. Um, but it, they said the original price is $4, which I'm not 100% sure, but it was only $2.99 for that and then I picked up um, this Becca gloss and it's called glow gloss and metamorphic gold and if you want to swatch I can swatch this as well I love Becca glosses I have a few but it's really pretty just like a, it's like a, you know, you can wear it on its own or on top of a lipstick. It would be really gorgeous, but 
here's that back of gloss and then I found this first aid beauty triple protection skin tint with goji berry and the color tan um, I I haven't heard much about this and I'm not sure if it's more expected to be a foundation or more of like something to go underneath your foundation or something to be worn alone and just um, to protect the skin like if you're going swimming or going to be outside because it has um, SPF 30 and this is what this looks like and the swatch for that I don't know if you'll be able to see it but it's right here so it's a little bit deeper than my skin tone, but I'm pretty sure I could just add a lighter foundation and maybe give it to make it the right color, which is fine. Um, but it was only $9.99 at Marshalls, so I'm not gonna complain. But if you've tried this, just let me know what you think of it. So there's that. And then I've been watching uh, Makeup by The Marvelous Miko. Um, and she had found, I don't know if she found it at TJ Maxx or if she found it at Marshalls, but this Azor Luxe Rose Gold Sparkling Oil Serum. And I wanted to give it a try. I found it at my local Marshalls. And it was $4.99. Um, this particular one says, the luxury hydrating treatment is good for toning, rejuvenating, and it's wrinkle reduction. And it has 24 karat gold and rose hip. So I don't know if you can see, but it has like little rose gold specks inside the bottle. So along with the rose gold, I found the gold. And this one is a luxury firming treatment. So the rose gold was hydrating. The gold is for firming. So it lifts, smooths, and illuminates. And this has gold flakes in it as well you can see that and then the last one I found was the Bulgarian Rose Sparkling Oil Serum and this is intensive nourishing it helps with anti-aging calming of the skin and hydrating and it has actual rose extracts in there so it's actually like rose petals in there But all right, guys, thank you so much for watching my video, and hopefully I'll see you soon. Okay, bye.